everybody so I'm going to put this tractor to the test now how I'm going to put it to test is one of my neighbors was gracious enough to let their grass grow and let me cut part of the grass and it's really thick it's really really good grass and it's like 10 inches long somewhere around that and what does that mean well it's going to put this tractor to the test now I'm going to set the tractor to slow and the blades on high and what I'm going to do is show you how well it cuts just like that and then what I'm going to do is set the blades on the low speed then on the medium speed and then on the high speed on three different tracks so you can see how it actually cuts and can it keep up well that's what we're going to find out today this is thick stuff so here we go One of the things that I found when I was mowing with a lawnmower is that it does a very good job mowing, especially with the double blades. With the double blades, it really mulches up, returns the nutrients back to the ground. It decomposes a lot faster. You're going to have a healthier lawn with that. One of the things that surprised me, is, though, is that on the low speed, it cut so well. And on the high speed and on the medium speed, it did well too. But the low speed did almost as well as the higher speeds. And here's what I'm thinking why. Whenever it's cutting and you're going at a low speed uh, driving speed and you have the low blade speed, it gives it enough time to really throw it out and move it. Whenever you put the blades on high speed, it throws that grass so hard underneath the deck, you really do need to go just a bit faster in order to move that grass out of it. Otherwise, it can pile up pretty quickly. <clears throat> I did get some clogs. The lawnmower is not perfect. However, it did do a great job. I'm not going to lie that the mower did get some clogs. I underestimated how thick and how wet the grass was in this particular yard there was a lot of moisture still in the grass so whenever i cut it it was very sticky especially since it cuts it up so much and so finally it did clump up pretty well now when it's dry it has no issues when it's wet yeah it has some issues but that's to be expected with any more i've ever had it's clogged up a lot now one of the things with the double blades is that it does give it a little bit more fan force a little bit more air movement and throwing power to get it out from under there but depending on how high your grass is you better go very slow now this one i had for the most part the speed set on low i did raise it up to medium and i had absolutely no issues now i did set the speed up on high a couple times and i really didn't have too many issues but i did have some issues when i hit a really thick patch or i hit a divot and then it would start to bog the motors down but that was few and far between all in all i would say that this mower does an excellent job it has the power to power through the really thick grass and i don't think you're going to have any issues with it whenever you're mowing your lawn now I think you can take on some really good, thick, coarse grass and not have a problem. And as you can see, mowing at nighttime with this was awesome. I had all the light that I needed. It did a great job. One of the things that I would like to see is a reverse light. So if you're mowing at nighttime and you have to back up, it's blind so you really can't see. It'd be really cool if they put, whenever you put the reverse on and you have your lights on, lights come on the back so you can see when you're backing up. So maybe on the next version of the tractor or even on the Z-turns, they'll put a reverse light on that. That would be very helpful. Maybe some lights on the side so you can see 360 degrees that wouldn't take a lot of power and it'd be pretty simple to do as well everybody i really appreciate you watching this video this was really fun for me to make i'm enjoying this tractor so much it is a blast to ride and to really continue to try and explore with these lawn tractors mowing and towing and doing all the great stuff we do but do me a favor Please help me and support the channel. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. That helps us. And most of all, share the video. Let me know what you think as well. When you share the video, you really uh, help us out, get it out there in the public. And we're trying to share all these really cool tools with everybody. And 
All we're trying to do is just help out. And until next time, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.